Hi everyone, I am Can Tunçer. I am amateur macro photographer living in Turkey. In this video, I want to show my macro photo staking and editing process in Affinity Photo for iPad. Recently, I changed my photo editing process completely. In the past two weeks, I only use iPad Pro and Apple Pencil for retouching, and I think this is the future of editing. Affinity Photo for iPad is very capable application, and editing with iPad is quite comfortable. I work as a journalist and sits long time front of the computer. So because of that, I don't want to edit on the computer anymore. For me, one of the most important things for extreme macro editing is focus taking performance. And I am very pleased to say that Affinity Photo for iPad very good for focus taking. The final results are far better than Photoshop CC 2020 and almost good as Zerine Sticker. I never use Photoshop for big macro staking process because of bad results, but Affinity surprised me with its focus staking performance. I tried to stake 100 photo with Affinity Photo and get very good results. In Affinity, I especially like Impaint Brush. With Impaint Brush, texture cleaning is much more effective compared to Photoshop Spot Healing Brush, and Affinity's Impainting Brush sometimes creates an incredible new and accurate texture. You may ask. But John, why you don't use Photoshop for iPad? It isn't any good. Right now, Affinity Photo for iPad is far more advanced software compared to Photoshop CC for iPad. Lastly, you can actually buy an Omnit Affinity Photo for iPad forever. But for Photoshop, you need to pay monthly fee. I don't like this at all. I will continue using Affinity Photo for editing and in the future maybe I make another video about that. In this video, you see me staking and editing two different macro photo. Who would have thought someday we will stack on iPad and get very decent results? Without further ado, let's get started.